Turkish President Erdogan's announcement on the reopening of the occupied Cypriot ghost town of Varosha has been strongly criticized by the EU. Varosha, which is a suburb of the coastal city Famagusta, has been fenced off and abandoned since Turkey invaded northern Cyprus after a Greek-inspired coup in 1974. The EU Commission expressed deep concern over the latest developments, explaining that the move could complicate long-expected talks to reunify the country. Varosha is protected by a 1984 United Nations Security Council decision, stating that the empty town can only be resettled by its original residents. The ball is uh, in the court of Turkey to, to really show that they are also interested in this constructive dialogue. And if we don't see any sincere efforts to engage on a positive level, and if we see continuation of unilateral actions and provocations, then they will be re ready to discuss also other issues and other, other options, such as restrictive options, and not only the positive agenda which was put on the table as the primary interest of the EU to pursue with Turkey. Following the EU leaders' summit last week, Turkey were given until December to fully de-escalate tensions in the East Mediterranean. But Erdogan's recent moves are being seen as a signal of his intent over talks to reunify Cyprus, which are also being described as meddling in the island's internal affairs. This by itself, besides that it is not acceptable that Turkey interferes in the re-election campaign of Turkey Cypriots, and of course is an acceptable violation of UN uh, resolutions on Russia. All this actually sums up in a, in, in, in a politics of supporting a leader who doesn't want a federal settlement. By this, Turkey gives us actually a hint about her intentions when we talks will begin. The Cypriot government have already made an appeal to the UN against the actions in Varosha. And with the next EU leaders' summit beginning next week, things in the Mediterranean could be about to heat up again. Christopher Pitchers, Euronews, Brussels.